They go by many names. Tree cookies, wood cookies, live edge cross cut slabs, wood discs, wood rounds, wood slabs, circle cut slabs, log slices, log cookies, natural edge cookies, and so on and so forth. But no matter what you'd like to call them, they're very popular for a wide variety of woodworking and craft projects. Before you can turn a wood cookie into whatever you have in mind for your particular project, you'll first have to cut them from a tree, dry them out correctly, and then do the finishing work, all of which I'll be sharing with you in this video. The first step is obviously actually cutting your wood cookies out from a tree trunk, a log, or a tree limb. Naturally, it's best to do this from a downed tree that's already at least somewhat dry instead of cutting from live, green wood. Now depending on how big your wood cookies need to be, you can cut them out with a table saw or a hand saw for small or medium sized cookies, or you'll probably have to use a chainsaw for larger cookies. No matter what you use to cut them out with though, it's important to try to make your cuts as even and as uniform as possible, which greatly cuts down on the work of having to level them out later. The next step is to properly dry or season your wood cookies. Now I did a video a while ago on the method I use for drying out large slabs of live edge wood, which I'll leave a link to at the end of this video and in the description below. And that method also works great for smaller slabs of wood, such as cookies. Now wood cookies are notorious for cracking and falling apart in the drying process. So the first thing you'll want to do, as soon as you possibly can after cutting them, is to coat both sides of the cookie with a wood grain sealer, such as Anchor Seal. Now you can use plain latex paint for this purpose, which I've done in the past, but it doesn't work quite as well as a sealer such as Anchor Seal. So put a good heavy coat or two on one side of the cookie, let it dry, and then put a coat on the opposite side as well. Next, I place 3 quarter inch to 1 inch thick sticks in between the cookies to allow for good airflow, and then I'll put a heavy weight on top of the whole stack, which helps to eliminate warping. After that, I place my stack of wood cookies in a dry, well-ventilated area to start out the drying process. Now as a rule of thumb, it takes one year of drying time per one inch of wood thickness. However, you can greatly accelerate this, especially if your cookies are thinner than one inch, by continually running a fan on your stack of cookies, which will dry them out in a matter of weeks or months, again, depending on how thick they are. I run a box fan on medium speed in my wood drying area year round, which doesn't suck up too much electricity, and again, it greatly accelerates the drying process. Now if you're in a big hurry and don't have weeks or months to wait for the wood to season or dry out properly, you can simply coat your cookies with a fairly heavy coat of shellac, polyurethane, or paint right after you cut them, which should hold them together for the immediate future. However, they very well may start to crack and fall apart down the road. But if you're going to be using your cookies or slabs for a more permanent long-term project, it's important not to rush the drying process. After your wood cookies are good and dry, you'll most likely need to level them out, depending on how accurately you cut them. To do this, you can use a planer, either manual or electric, a power sander, a router sled, or anything else that you have handy that will simply remove the high areas of wood and flatten them out nicely. Now even if you've done all that you can to ensure that your cookies are dried out correctly, they still sometimes unfortunately crack. However, all is not lost. On small to medium sized cracks, you can use wood filler, either plain or with some stain added, to remedy the situation. And on larger cookies or slabs, you can use epoxy or a joiner of one kind or another to hold the wood together and keep it from cracking further, which can also give your project a unique look. So after getting your cookies all patched up with filler, if need be, and all nice and flat and level, you can finish them off with a good sanding, as well as cut them out with a jigsaw to make a more even circle or some other desired shape. 
And finally, depending on what you intend to do with your wood cookies or slabs, it's important to apply some kind of a finish or seal coat, whether it's shellac, modge podge, epoxy, polyurethane, paint, or an oil finish of one kind or another. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel, click on the link in the video description below to find out more.